hey can you do a simple pendulum experiment at home in homely conditions yes it is very much possible i am rajkumar parishari i am a theoretical physicist and i love doing experiments and solving problems with reasonable mathematical details today i am here with the simple pendulum experiment as prescribed in the cbse syllabus the experiment is using simple pendulum plot its l versus t graph and use it to find effective length of the second pendulum then you must be knowing what is second pendulum second pendulum effectively is a simple pendulum with time period 2 seconds so we are supposed to find effective length of a second pendulum is it right so what should be the apparatus used in homely conditions the apparatus used will be a 1.5 to 2 meter long thread and this thread is same as you have been using to fly kites and you need a stop clock and this is stop clock is same as you have been using in a smart watch you can also use uh, a mechanical watch with a second hand in place of a spherical bob you need a weight as used in a pressure cooker now the principle we know that the time period of a simple pendulum is given by t is equals to 2 pi under root l by g a square it t square is equals to 4 pi square l by g this can be rewritten as l is equals to g by 4 pi square into t square you can see i mean the term in the bracket is a constant so l is effectively proportional to t square the graph between l versus t square got to be a straight line passing through the origin and this is how it should look look like l versus t square graph it should be a straight line passing through the origin is it right further what you should be knowing is that in this experiment you are supposed to find out effective length of a second pendulum you are already aware that the time period of a second pendulum is 2 seconds so t square will become 4 so so just mark 4 4 second square on this ordinate axis draw a horizontal line and then draw a perpendicular so this length this length corresponding to 4 second square will be the effective length of a second pendulum this is l effective which has been asked from us now uh, the the idea is how really to set up the simple pendulum experiment in home conditions so over here i have taken a pressure cooker weight this is the weight and i will be using and this is a in fact 2 meter long thread as used in kites so let's start taking observations one by one place the weight on a hard surface and with the help of meter scale you should try to measure its length so you can try yourself this turns out to be near this turns out to be nearly 2.6 cm also measure the length of the hook the length of the hook over this weight turns out to be 0.7 cm in a simple pendulum the length of the thread l is from the point of suspension till the center of the thread we already know length of weight used is 2.6 cm so from the center of the weight till the top of its weight distance should be 1.3 cm and the length of the hook happens to be 0.7 cm and hence distance and hence distance from the center of the weight till the top of the hook is 2.0 cm to make a simple pendulum of 80 cm long we need to choose length of the thread to be 78 cm if you want to make a simple pendulum 
of 90 centimeter length, then the length of the thread used should be 88 centimeter. And if you want to make a simple pendulum of length 100 centimeter, then you need to choose length of the thread to be 98 centimeter and so on. Over here, I will be making a simple pendulum of length 80 centimeter. To do so, I am choosing length of the thread to be 78 centimeter. This can be done using a scale easily available in a geometry box. Is that right? So over here, I have a scale and a thread. Thread I have already tied with the weight. So I will use 78 centimeter. So let it do it. So this makes a simple pendulum of 80 centimeter. You hold a scale parallel to the ground and this is 78 centimeter mark and then wrap it, wrap this thread around it. C class, length of the thread used over here is 78 centimeter. This is right from this edge till the top of the weight. Now what do you do? If you could see, I'm putting this scale under this door. This easily fits in and then I push it. So, so I could make this uh, point of suspension stable. Suspension of a single pendulum in homely conditions. I mean, it could be a little trickier issue, but nevertheless, you can try out your own ways to do it. You can use, you can use door, you can use handle in a door and they, uh, you can also, I will also suggest an alternative way. You can push this scale through a book as shown in, um, in one of these figures. Hello everyone. I'm ready with a simple pendulum of 80 centimeter long and also with a stop clock. As you do the experiment, you should be very clear that during oscillation, the bob should oscillate in a straight line. What is not permissible is oscillation in a loop. Let us pull it aside and then release it. You need to see it carefully, in fact, from the sideways and ensure that it must be oscillating in a straight line. If it follows a loop, then definitely you should try it again. Now let me ensure that it is oscillating in a line or not. For that, I will have to move sideways. Oh, perfect. It is oscillating in a straight line. Now next. Length of this simple pendulum is already fixed. Now I wanted to take time taken by this oscillating bob for 10 oscillations. So the time period of one oscillation can be calculated. Is that right? Now let us start. So I'll start when this bob is at its one of the extreme position. Is it right? When it's momentarily at rest. Let's do it. So I will do it when it is at my right extreme position. Mm. Oh, it started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this is the time period of 10 oscillations. And this turns out to be 17.70. I'm recording it, 17.70 seconds. Now let's repeat it. Let's repeat for the same length. It's oscillating, let it oscillate. Why to try it, why to do it again? So I have, re I have already reset the stop clock 
and uh, when it will be at this position i will press the start mm -hmm. here it goes one oscillation two oscillations complete three oscillations complete four oscillations complete five oscillations complete six oscillation complete seven completed eight completed nine completed and 10 completed uh, the reading turns out to be 17.80 this is 17.80 seconds so the average value the average value will be 17 point 17 point 75 seconds now we'll increase the length of uh, this bob i'm sorry now we'll increase the length of this symbol pendulum by 10 centimeter is that right let's do it 10 centimeter long here is the scale 10 centimeter long this is 10 centimeter long i'll have to open it i will have to unwrap the thread So this is, till this point, it was 78, add 10 more centimeters, 10 more centimeters, so that makes 88, 88 centimeters the length of the thread and 2.0 happens to be the distance from the center of the weight till the top of the hook. So the total length of the simple pendulum now is exactly 90 centimeter now next again again wrap hold this uh, scale horizontal and this is 88 centimeter mark hold it properly and then wrap it so again i will be pushing under the door this time i will go sideways to pull the weight and then release and ensure that oscillations there in a straight line Yes, they are. Now we can proceed with the measurement of time period. <clears throat> I'll press the start button when it is on my right and at the extreme position. Yes. One oscillation complete. Two, three, four, five six seven eight nine ten talk so the time turns out to be 18.54 seconds in fact 18.58 seconds so this is 18.58 seconds Let's do it again. Resetting. Start. One oscillation, two oscillations, three oscillations, four oscillations, five complete oscillations, six complete oscillations, seven complete oscillations, eight complete oscillations, nine complete oscillations, and 10 complete oscillations and this time 18.57 seconds this is 18 point 18 point 57 seconds and the average of the two will be 18 
point five eight seconds. Now, class, I will repeat this experiment for hundred centimeter length, hundred and ten centimeter length, and hundred and twenty centimeter length. And the observations I'll put in a table. Now, let me complete the table. The length of thread used in the first reading it was seventy eight centimeter half of the weight length h is equals to 1.3 centimeter and the length of the hook is 0 0.7 centimeter the total length of the simple pendulum becomes 80.0 centimeter the time period which i measured in the first reading was 17.70 second in the second reading it was 17.80 seconds so the time period so the average time period that is equals to sum of the two then divided by 10 equals to 1.775 seconds the square of time period is 3.15 second square for the second reading the length of the thread used was 88 centimeter half length of the weight this got to be the same 1.3 centimeter length of the hook is 0 0.7 centimeter and the length of simple pendulum becomes 90 centimeter corresponding to 90 centimeter the time period of 10 oscillations for reading 1 is 18.58 for reading 2 it is 18.57 we'll take the average we'll divide it by 10 to obtain the time period of oscillation time period of oscillation is 1.58 seconds and the square of time period is 3.45 second square and for the next reading the thread length is 98 centimeter this remains 1.3 centimeter length of the hook is still 0.7 centimeter and the length of the simple pendulum that becomes 100 Point zero centimeter and corresponding to it time for 10 oscillations for the first reading that is 19.92 seconds and the first for the second reading it is 19.88 second we'll take the average we'll divide it by 10 to obtain time period and this turns out to be one point nine nine zero seconds and the square of it this is equals to three point nine six second square for the next reading this is one zero eight centimeter one point three Once the table is complete, now let's draw the graph with proper units. This is the graph here available with me. We'll plot L versus T square. On this side, you have length and this is in centimeter. Let's just start from zero. This is zero centimeter mark, 20 centimeter mark, and this is 40 centimeter mark, 60, and this is 80 centimeter mark 100 and this is 100 and 20 centimeter mark 140 this is 160 centimeter mark this is good enough because we are using length up to we are using length from 80 centimeter to 120 centimeter now let's on this axis we have the t square the unit got to be in seconds second square now next We'll start this from zero seconds, zero second square in fact. This is one second square, then two second square centimeter mark, then three second square centimeter mark, then four second square centimeter mark, then five second square centimeter mark. So the resolution on y axis, this is 0.2 second square. One one division on the y-axis is equals to 0.2 centimeter square and one division 
one division on x of x is equals to how much? This is equals to 5 centimeter. So let us rewrite over here. This is, now let us proceed. Corresponding to 80 centimeter length, t square is 3.15. This is 80 centimeter and 3.15. 3.15, this is 3 and 3.2. So I guess 3. Point, this is where 3.15 should be. Now next part, corresponding to 90 centimeter, this is 3.45 this is 103 and 90 centimeters should be somewhere in between and i guess this is 3. Point, this is 3.4 this is 3.4 and this is 3.6 so it should be somewhere here is that right this is the point uh, this is the second point then corresponding to 100 centimeter this is 3.96 and corresponding to 100 centimeter 3.96 very very close to 4 centimeter square mark so this is the point we have next part corresponding to 110 centimeter this is 4.41 so 110 this got to be between the two this is 110 110 this got to be 3.4 3.4 means up to two divisions is it right and corresponding to 120 this is 4.8 120 4.8 little above this point is that right so these are the four different points on the graph we now we can draw a straight line passing through the origin This verifies that L is proportional to T square. So corresponding to 4 second is square, the effective length is 100 centimeter. And hence we expect that the effective length of the second pendulum is equals to 100 centimeter i must share this with you is that the slope of this graph in si units is four by one which happens to be equals to 4 pi square by g and this implies that value of g is equals to pi square and this happens to be 9.86 meter per second square so this experiment also helps us in finding value of g thank you